you oh, told us that you spent $2.54 billion for R&D, for Imbruvica, even though the drug didn't get any better. Really, it was all for these innovations and indications which are designed to keep competitors off the market and find new sales opportunities. Reclaiming, also... reclaiming my time, Mr. Gonzalez, how much did you spend, did Abby spend on litigation and settlements from 2013 to 2018? Uh, I, I don't have that number off hand. We'll be happy to give it to you. Okay, $1.6 billion, $2.45 billion on R&D, $1.6 billion in litigation and settlements. What about marketing and advertising? How much does Abby spend on that? Uh, well, marketing and advertising, we spend about $4 billion a year. Yep, $4.71 billion. How about executive compensation, 2013 to 2018? 2013 to 2018, it's probably on average about $60 million a year. Try 334 on for size. Now, how much did Abvi spend on stock buybacks and shareholders, stock, stock buybacks and dividends to enrich your shareholders from 2013 to 2018? Well, stock buybacks, if you actually look at just pure stock buybacks, it would be about $13 billion. Stock buybacks uh, and dividends is the question, sir. Uh, dividends, and I have to come back with that, a number for that over that period of time. $50 billion. So, Mr. Gonzalez, you're spending all this money to make sure you make money rather than spending money to invest in, develop drugs, and help patients with affordable, life-saving drugs. You lie to patients when you charge them twice as much for an unimproved drug, and then you lie to policymakers when you tell us that R&D justifies those price increases.